So the next stage on my in-move build is to make the torso. This seems to be made up of mainly flat parts so the printing should be pretty straightforward. It's just a case of figuring out which pieces go where. There's a nice 3D image that I'm showing you here on the in-move site. And the piece I'm going to be starting with is uh, this piece of the back here on the, on the back of the shoulder. So the, the printer I'm using is the Mono Mendel. It's quite a few years old now but still going quite well. This is the Pronterface software that we use to communicate with the printer. I've got the part loaded up and I'm just waiting for the bed temperature to come up. So I'm putting together these these flat pieces. Um, these joints are particularly difficult to get to fit together. So what I do is I file them out a little bit, give them a little bit of shape, <coughs> and then use the hot air gun just to uh, gently heat up the joints and then push them together. Um, you have to be careful not to give them too much heat because they do melt really fast. Okay, so I've got the parts in the in the vise, and um, I filed these parts so they almost fit. They don't quite go in cold, so I'm just going to gently heat them with a heat gun. I put the heat gun on the low setting and just gently warm up the joints. And then I just give the joints a little nip in the vise just to tighten them up, make sure they're flat. Now we've got the first four pieces fit together. We're not going to see this part, so the finish doesn't have to be perfect. This is going to be in, it's hidden inside the torso, so yes, I'm not too concerned about these joints. Uh, I might put a little bit of glue on them but I don't think they really need it. Here we've got the first eight pieces just about finished. The top four here I've sanded and filled and primed. And you, they are actually a lot worse than the, than the camera's showing. I've tried to smooth out all the And these ones uh, have not yet been primed. You can see how I'm filling them, filling in all the, the low points before I paint them. So the next stage is to try and join these together. The next few pieces I've got here are the sort of center of the torso. Uh, this piece is called throat hole, I believe quite sure why it's called that. Um, these long long pieces here go towards the back and you see these side pieces they have a, a smaller gap and a larger gap. The smaller gap goes towards the back. So this goes towards the back and these close ones go towards the back so this dovetail joint here pushes in there like that and then the same on the other side Get my 
myself confused here. Yeah, that would go that way. This one's a little bit tighter. I might need to uh, file that a little bit more before that one goes in. And that's that centerpiece. has just finished these three parts for the front, uh, the sternum in the middle, um, the clav front I believe and clav front, so these are the same part just flipped over. So the next job is to try and get these joints here and here together. Okay so I finally got this chest plate complete the first two layers anyway. Um, these these three joints here were really hard to get in. Um, I had to do a lot of filing on those. But it's all together now. So I've got the servo holster fitted inside this central piece and I've filed these holes out so that it tips quite smoothly and the next stage is to insert this piece into the, the back. Next we have this small piece that has to slide onto the back. So that's on there. Uh, it didn't exactly slide on, I had to hammer it on. Uh, I would recommend if you are going to hammer yours in place to make sure you've got good support underneath. So the last thing I'm going to do with this stage is fit this front plate onto here. This will have to come off again because we have to fit some of the shoulder parts in between in, in these holes in between here. So I'll just loosely fit it, I won't glue it in place yet. So I've attached the front plate, I had to file all these six holes out here and cut the front plate on. I've removed the neck from the from the head that I've already built. Uh, drilled out these two holes here, this one and this one. Drilled them out to two and a half millimeters and then use some M3 machine screws to screw the neck in place. And that's it for now. I've reattached the head. Just bolts through. One bolt through the neck. So in the next video I'll be fitting the servo inside here which will drive the neck. I'll have to print the neck piston and hopefully I'll be attaching an Arduino onto the back so that we can get the head connected up, get the head moving, the neck moving and the eyes. I've given these ear pieces a quick coat of black paint if you've been following the previous videos. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Please like and share and hopefully we'll see you in the next video.